The boardroom where ideas come through. The boardroom power your idea. It is obvious that the dollar is the most commonly held reserve currency and the most widely used currency for international trade and other transactions around the world. On this video, we are looking at how the dollar became the world's reserve currency. Welcome to the boardroom. I'm Moses Nyanacho. First off, let me explain the meaning of reserve currency. A reserve currency is a foreign money that is held in significant quantities by central banks or other monetary authorities as part of their foreign exchange reserves. When a country holds back foreign currency, in this case, the dollars, when a country holds back the dollars as its reserve exchange, it helps to reduce the exchange rate risk. And the reason is simple. There won't be need for the country to exchange its currency for the reserve currency to do trade. So onus is on the country's policymakers to closely monitor the monetary policy of the United States to ensure that the value of their reserve is not adversely affected by inflation. I hope I've been able to explain a little bit. Now, how did we come about using the dollar as the world's reserve currency? In 1944, there was a Bretton Woods Agreement where delegates from 44 nations of the world had a conference in the state of New Hampshire in the United States. They gathered to agree upon a series of new rules for the post-World War II international monetary system. They had three major goals. One, to ensure there is exchange rate stability. Two, to prevent competitive devaluations. And three, to promote economic growth. And so they came up with an idea. After much deliberations, they agreed to establish a monetary system where they would have a fixed currency exchange rate using gold as the basis for the US dollar. That means other countries' currencies will be pegged to the US dollar's value. So that now gave the US the responsibility of keeping the dollar price of gold fixed and to adjust the supply of dollars to maintain confidence in the future gold convertibility. But this monetary system came to an end in the early 1970s when the US discovered that it was leading to inflation. You know, dollar was struggling throughout most of the 1960s. And so the then president, President Richard Nixon, announced that the US would no longer exchange gold for the U.S. currency. After some time, the Western powers made efforts to revive the fixed exchange rate, but that didn't yield any result. By March 1973, the major currencies began to float against each other. But before then, the system had already succeeded in creating a lasting influence on international currency exchange and trade, which led to the creation of IMF, International Monetary Fund. It also led to the establishment of the World Bank. The long and short story is that Bretton Agreement kickstarted the dollar into its current position in the world today. But prior to Bretton monetary system, most countries were on the gold standard. Let me explain gold standard real quick. Gold standard is a monetary system under which nearly all the countries fix their value of their currencies in terms of a specified amount of gold. So that was what most countries were using before the Bretton Woods Agreement. So you will agree that contrary to some insinuations, the role of dollar as primary reserve was not established by decree. No one imposed the dollar on any nation, but rather it was because of the emergence of the US as the world's major economy. Talking about size of the domestic economy. In fact, not just the size of the economy, but also the importance of the economy in the international trade. Its openness to financial markets, the convertibility of the currency, and 
in the use of the currency as a currency peg. Those are the factors that determine the reserve currency. I must also mention that despite the fact that the dollar has a significant position in the global market, the US dollar is not the strongest currency. Some of you may, may be surprised that dollar is not even amongst the first five currency in the world. Yeah, if my memory serves me right, dollar should be around the tenth strongest currency. The strongest currency in the world is Kuwaiti dinar. The Kuwaiti dinner equals $3.26. This takes my mind to the good old days when Nigeria Naira was stronger than dollar. Even up to 1985, Naira was the equivalent of pound sterling. I will summarize by saying that the creation of Bretton Woods resulted in countries pegging their currencies to the US dollar and the dollar was pegged to the price of gold. And because of this, the U.S. became dominant in the world economy and the U.S. became the only nation that could print the globally accepted currency. So countries had flexibility of exchange rates than they did with the old gold standard. When dollar ceased to be pegged to the price of gold, it became the monetary standard with other currencies pegging their currencies to dollar. <laughs> I remember discussing reserve currency with a group and someone asked if gold was once used to back up currencies. And I answered yes. At the time, gold was the dollar of today. So that was how dollar became the global reserve currency. On that note, many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and share this video. That is the only way you can support us and support the channel. I'm Moses Ianacho. Bye for now. The Bodrum. Power your idea.